Record. All right, I think we're recording. Yep. All right, so for those of you watching the replay, um, welcome to our oily fireside chat um, from May 26th. You've got Tessa, Ann, and Rose here um, just talking about all things oils. Um, and so for those of you who are new to watching this, what we like to do is get together every Tuesday evening at eight o'clock Central Standard Time and just talk about how we've used our oils over the week. So that being said, I don't know, does anyone want to go first? Otherwise I have my camping kit here that I can talk about. <clears throat> go first. Um, okay. So, um, I actually don't, I'm not highlighting a particular oil today, but just sharing with you that um, using oils really is a lifestyle for me. And I bought this, I don't know where I got this, but I think I got it on Amazon, but I don't know the brand. I can't really read it. Um, and it's just a case where I can put my oils. And um, my husband and I like to camp and go to the North Woods. And so I kind of wanted to go through uh, traveling with oils a little bit and talk about the oils I kind of am always bringing with me. Um, so we just got back from camping for Memorial Day weekend and so I'm just going to quick go through. I always have some thief spray in here. You never know if you don't have a way to wash your hands. I'm working to balance my hormones so I always keep my Aprenolone Plus so that I can apply that daily. Um, and I also have my lavender lip balm in here for two reasons. One, if I get sun and I need um, relief on the lips, I'm not a, a lip balm user by general rule. But the other thing is this can act as a diluter if you accidentally put too many oils on. Um, you can use it similar to a carrier oil. And so I always like to have this on hand just in case I get a little out of hand with my oils. <laughs> also fantastic, I want to give you a tip because you might not know this and being in your Northwoods kit that's going to be helpful, the lavender lip balm specifically, supreme for bug bites. Mm, yes, I would imagine for soothing the itch. Yep. Yes. With your insect repellent that you shared, was that last week? You shouldn't get bug bites, but if you do... <laughs> So we were deep in the heart of the North Woods next to a lake with tons of mosquitoes. Um, mm. The insect repellent worked, but I'm, you had to reapply it. Um, mm. And so just an honest review for those of you who are using it, if you're putting it on and, you know, sometime later you're thinking, I'm still getting bug bites, like don't be afraid to put more on it, you know, and and um, actually John mentioned that, he said, well, you do have to reapply it. And I said, well, when's the last time you sprayed all those chemically deep sprays on you and they lasted all night and you didn't have to reapply it? So you have to reapply whatever you're using anyway. I would just rather use the stuff that doesn't harm my body and the okay. environment. Yep. Um, okay. And then of course I have lavender in here and that was for bug bites as well. Plus if you have a hard time sleeping, it's kind of nice to put like a drop on your pillow. Um, peppermint. Well, my wife, I think it works good for burns too. Yeah. Oh, lavender, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have peppermint here. That I always bring in case I get like congestion. I like the easy breathing um, of peppermint. Um, what else? Digize? I can't get this out. Oh, peppermint I like to put in my water if I get heartburn too um, to help with my digestion. Digize helps me with digestion. Um, I have dragon time in here just in case I need to go. <laughs> you have to fight off dragons. Just in yes. case. Fight off dragons. Thank it's you, a particular man. time of the month where the dragons are especially fierce. Um, I'm not going to take all these out because it's like they're all stuck in here, but purification for mm -hmm. I'll put, I also have a little baggie of cotton balls. And after we go for a hike, I like to put some purification on the cotton balls and put them in our hiking boots so that they don't stink up our camper. We have a truck camper, which isn't a very big space and you don't want odors. 
RC in case I've got seasonal um, issues going on. There's a lot of pollen out there, so mm -hmm. um, that helps. And then thieves, just in case you start to feel something coming on for immune support. Or we're not around kids a lot necessarily, John and I in our day to day. So if we're going to be around kids, we know that kids tend to be little germ carriers <laughs> sometimes. So I might put a drop, um, you know, at night on the bottom of my feet just to protect. And then I already gave you my tip of reusing your bottles. In here, I have lavender, lemon, and peppermint as like a seasonal um, spray to help um, like congestion issues and help with my breathing and respiration. And I was putting it on my pillow at night. Well, after a couple days without showers, I was starting to feel like I needed a body spray um, that was a little more refreshing than just putting on like an oil. And this has some peppermint in it. So I sprayed it on and I had gotten um, a little bit of sun and it was nice and cooling and tingly. Um, so I think I'm going to make my own after sun spray with lavender to help soothe um, and peppermint to help tingle. And then the last thing in here, I have a Rutavala roll on in case I get like insomnia or something and I want some sleep support. Um, that's my trap. Very cool. Very cool. I have something similar to that that I always bring everywhere I go. I mean, the number one thing that I bring with me to Wisconsin is my oils. I'm mean, like, everything else, I don't care, but I have to have my oils, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and even like the grandkids are like, grandma, do you have all of your special oils? I'm like, oh, you betcha. I have them all in this little case right here. Every one that I need. And I know that if I need an extra one, I know that your mama has one. <laughs> so it's a win-win situation there. But um, so today, because I was sitting outside actually reading like for pleasure, yeah, I was reading a Joyce Meyer book and I was just like, wow, it's been a long time since I've been able just to do this. And so I was sitting out and I made sure that I put on my um, mm. mineral sunscreen lotion with the SPF of 50. I'm so glad they came, came out with 50. I agree. Last year. Um, I still have my 10, you know, you, you don't want to throw it out. It's, you know, kind of on the pricey side. So, um, but I just make sure, I make sure that I actually put this on before I go running, especially on my face. Um, because I had a, I had a little spot that I had to have removed, um, this past January that was just, you know, just a little bit of cancer. So we had it removed. They got it all. We're good to go. I even forget that it was even there. Um, so I'm just very conscientious now, especially my face, you know, and, and I continue to put it on my shoulders and stuff too, but the importance of making sure you have sunscreen on. Um, and then I also have um, this cooling mist that you on after you've been in the sunshine, um, which sometimes I forget I even have. I'm like, oh yeah, I could have this. I should spray this on. Um, it just helps to, you know, if you're a little on the pink side or whatever, um, to kind of soothe it and cool, cool the skin down a little bit, helps it to um, not be so sore. Um, and then, you know, Insect repellent. Um, I, I would agree you do have to you do have to reapply it. Um, I actually used to make my own little concoction um, out of oils and, and I, I think I actually still have a couple of glass spray bottles of my concoction. I do too. <laughs> from when we lived in northern uh, Wisconsin because you know mosquitoes were pretty pretty bad and uh, along with ticks. So I was it on before I'd go out and mow the grass and you know I could come in and be like okay good they stayed off me awesome <laughs> you know and um and the other thing you know with uh, bug bites you can also use purification um it'll stop the itch oh it will stop the itch um, very nice yeah there was a gentleman in our church in northern Wisconsin that he was kind of like what's all this oil stuff about, you know, and his wife had, had gotten the oils and 
So I guess one weekend, you know, he was just scratching and scratching all these, all these mosquito bites. And she goes, you know, I think that this oil would help you. Let me just, let's just try it. So she puts them on and he was like, this stuff is awesome. <laughs> so then at church on the, the next Sunday, he says, you know, she came up to me and she goes, go ask him about, about purification oil. I'm like, all right. So I go up and I said, so what about this purification oil that I hear you, you used? And he goes, oh, that stuff is awesome. <laughs> you know and of course you know I was just kind of really giving them a hard time about it and um, so you know the things that the oils can do you know that you are like whoa this is this is really cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you don't have to suffer with the constant itching um, you know you just put your oils on and give it a minute then you're good to go I would way rather use those than that pink spray oh for sure <laughs> I think my oil that I'm constantly wowed by is lemon. Like I, mm -hmm. I have wow moments with all my oils, but I think lemon is always like, oh no, Kara's kind into this. Will this get this off the wall or off the chair or like that kind of stuff? Like I'm constantly amazed by lemon, and it's like the cheapest oil ever. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's the oil I gift to people the most because I'm like, mm -hmm. you're not gonna believe what this oil does. Mm -hmm. um i know what else happened um so i have a tendency when we're camping it happened to me this fall um really bad and it happened um actually just this weekend um so this fall it happened because it was cold weather and we were walking in the woods quite a bit for bow hunting and my muscles i get crampy muscles pretty easily um, Tessa knows because at the pool I'd all be, be like oh my gosh my legs are cramping up again and it's just something I've kind of had my whole life um, but we have a truck camper and our bed is kind of like up some steps like you gotta haul your body up in there and it's not super easy to get out so when you get leg cramps <laughs> it takes time right to try and stretch them out and try to get out or you know, and usually I'm able to kind of finagle away to stretch them until I can climb down and, you know, stretch them out. Well, I got a really bad Charlie horse. Um, it would have been Saturday night that I could not get rid of no matter how long I, I mean, it would go away, but then the second I would stop stretching my leg out, it would, you know, come back. And of course, I always wonder, well, was I sweating a lot? I got a lot of sun. Am I dehydrated? And so you chug a bunch of water and, you know, whatever. And I got to thinking, I wonder if my CBD cream, um, what do they call it? The CBD ointment? Mm -hmm. Because I've used it on John's back when he's been having muscle spasms and it seems to help um, give him some relief. I don't know if it's the relaxation in it. Like you know, whatever it may be, I do know that it's anti-inflammatory, and so I'm sure that that helps. Um, I stood there stretching my calf muscle and trying to figure out how am I going to climb back up here and get this thing relaxed, and I thought, well, I'll just try the CBD ointment, and I, it was the 300 milligram strength. I just rubbed it into where the, where it was cramping, um, and I'm not kidding, within two minutes, it was done, relaxed, like totally stopped. Awesome. And not only that, in the morning, usually when I get those bad Charlie horses, my calves are really sore. Um, I had nothing. Hmm. None of that in the morning, which tells me it really, truly relaxed the muscle. And, you know, there's other essential oils in that. So... I know that it's really kind of penetrating the muscle and getting down in there to support, you know, whatever you have going on, but to support your muscles and your, um, your function, right, of your endocannabinoid system, so. I wonder yeah. if that would be safe to use while pregnant, because with both girls, I would wake up, oh my word, probably four or five o'clock in the morning, like, 
almost screaming but biting my pillow because my leg like my thigh and my calf would be so cramped up I couldn't move and I'd have to get Luke to help me rub it up because I couldn't even stand like I couldn't stand up and like you're saying the next morning it was super sore and crampy Mm -hmm. and I wonder if you can use that CBD muscle rub while pregnant nothing I have read tells me that you can't that being said, I do know a lot of our oils and products say to consult with your yeah. physician if you are pregnant. Yeah. I would encourage anybody to do their own research. Yeah. Um, I know of people who use CBD oil when they're pregnant right. um, and do not have concerns about it. That being said, I don't know off the top of my head all the other oils that are in the ointment. So yeah, while the I'll CBD, some research into that because I know other moms who have said the same thing. Something about pregnancy causes severe leg cramping. Mm-hmm. So I'll have to do some research into that and maybe pass that info on. That would yeah. Be really cool. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I have to get myself some of that. <laughs> I, I'm like, okay, I I need to I need to, you know, figure out. Okay, hmm, let's see, what could I what could I take off my list for this, for this upcoming month so I can put that in? Yep. So <laughs> my wish list is about seven or eight months out. <laughs> like these are my needs. Like I need these coming right. up in the next two or three months. So my wish list. <laughs> yeah. Cause you never know what, you know, young lemon is going to unveil. I know. I know. So I'm trying to balance things out, you know, thinking, okay, so if I only order this much online, yep. This much on Eric's, okay. <laughs> Be These one new Wednesday things are fantastic. I'm so glad they're mm-hmm. doing these. Like getting mm-hmm. new products or like limited yes. time products every Wednesday is like not super great for the budget. But like, oh yeah. my word, I'm loving all these oils and new products. Oh, it gets me excited. I would argue yeah. it's pretty, I love it for the budget because like peace and calming, I was getting low. Oh, yeah. They had what's new Wednesday. And I got it for 20%. So I just shifted the order of my wish list and bought the piece yep. of calming yeah. with one time purchase. And then I kind of adjust. I, I did the same thing with Geno Baby because it was on yeah. such a deep discount. So that, that actually did help our budget. I, I was so tempted, you know, with the piece and calming, but I'm like, but I don't, I don't really need it. You know, I'm like, <laughs> I just, I don't need it. I mean, I had a big bottle that's, you know, got quite a bit in it. I'm like, I just couldn't justify it. I'm like, no, I, I have to behave myself. <laughs> and <laughs> there's, always, there's always another deal. I'm thinking future. I'm thinking June's coming. And oh, yeah. You know, that there are, mm-hmm. I'm sure there's going to be some pretty amazing stuff that's going to be available and unveiled during that time. It's pretty exciting. I can't wait to see what they release at national convention. Mm, I know. And then we, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of a bummer that it's only virtual this year. I know. Um, But, you know, we will get there in person. Oh, yes. And and you guys will be like, wow. You know, you, you will be just totally amazed. Um, so it's it's a good time it's a really good we're all going yes Mm -hmm. and janelle me and rose for sure are all gonna go on a trip together Mm -hmm. oh yes oh yes we are the babies (laughs) (laughs) mama needs a break <laughs> but speaking of budgets, the other thing I noticed, if you're a person who wears Valor topically, mm. um, uh, the 10 milliliter roll-on of Valor is not twice as much as the 5 milliliter bottle of it. Mm-mm. So I'm like, ooh, now I don't know if there's also carrier oil and whatnot in there, or is it straight Valor? I don't. I think it's straight Valor. Okay. Yeah, so like, okay. I'm pretty sure. If you're a yeah, if you're a topical valor wear, it is way cheaper than to buy the ten mil roller bottle than the bottle. And that's what I do. I have I have all roller bottle ones. You know, I put my valor on, I put my stress mm-hmm. on <laughs> I put my piece of calming on, you know, I'm like, yep, yeah, gonna have this one and this one. <laughs> <laughs> I like walking aromatherapy right here. 
<laughs> I know that those are all the best scents too. <laughs> oh yeah. They picked all the favorites and just said, let's throw it in a roller bottle and everyone yep. rejoiced. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But what you don't want to do, though, is after you exercise, you do not want to roll thieves on the back of your... Oh, no. Oh, no. no. That's a good no. idea. <laughs> Rookie oiler mistake. <laughs> I've done that. And believe it or not, I've actually done it more than once. Oh, no. <laughs> because I forget. And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> so then I have a while and put it on to kind of bring it down a notch and... I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> We've all made those mistakes. <laughs> the other rookie mistake I made, and I wasn't a rookie anymore. This was like a year into oiling, getting peppermint too close to my eye. Oh yeah, that's I had not like, good. like sinus pressure, and I was like, I just need some peppermint. I just need some relief. And of course, I'm all like stuffed up, half asleep, not paying attention, almost got it like directly in my eye. I'm like, Look, help me, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Yeah, that's not a good thing to do. Yeah, yeah I think we've all been there, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> well, we are at 8.30. Um, should we wrap it up for the night? Yeah. Sure. Do you have anything yeah. you want to share? No. No? I'm good. Cool. Well, it was good seeing you all again. I like our weekly chats. It's so much fun to get to talk oils because I can only talk so much oils with John. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so. Okay. All right. Well, same time, same place next week, Tuesday. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Say, sounds have a good, good rest of your week, everybody. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.